Howdy folks, we're going to do another clean water store instructional startup video. We're going to be programming a filter valve. This valve could be used for our Pro-Ox iron filter system. It could also be being used for a neutralizer or a sediment filter or a carbon filter. When you plug the valve in, it's going to tell you a computer uh, revision number real quick. And it's going to flash after a second to the clock time. It's going to go back and forth between the clock time and the number of days between regeneration. In order to program the valve, the first thing we're going to do is set the clock time and the number of days between regeneration. And how we get there is by pressing and releasing the menu enter button. Clock time starts to flash. Let's go ahead and say we're going to change it to 3.15 p.m. So we hit the set change button. Now just the ones value is flashing, so now we can change it. Get it over to a 5 for our 3.15. Hit the menu enter to uh, uh, accept it and go on to the next one. Poke the set change button, get to a 1. Menu, poke the 12 up to a 3. Now we've got 315, all flashing. Now we're going to hit the menu enter button again. We go AM or PM. We want to get to PM for 315. Now the valve is set at 315 PM. A06 means that every six days is when the valve is going to regenerate. If you have a Pro-Ox iron filter, you will most likely want to be setting this at three or four days. If you have a carbon filter or a neutralizer filter or a sediment filter, you will more likely be setting it at six or seven days. That's why the default is six. So I'm going to show you how to set it to four days as if it was a Pro-Ox. Poke the set change button once. The ones place will begin to flash. Go around the horn and get back up to number four there. Menu enter. We don't need to change the zero place. Every fourth day now it's going to regenerate. We're back to the clock time which we've set correctly and every four days it'll regenerate. Now to do the uh, cycle steps. To get in there we're going to press and hold both buttons at the same time. After about five seconds, we're going to see lowercase r and 2a, oh, 12a, sorry. This is saying that the valve is going to regenerate at 12 a.m. Let's go ahead and we'll get it to do it at 2 a.m. We've got our a, hit the set change, the a is blinking, we like that, hit the menu enter. Now the hours are changing, now we've got it saying 2 a.m. Now it's going to regenerate at 2 a.m., hit the menu enter button. We have our first of our four cycle steps is the backwash step. Step one is for 10 minutes. It's going to be 10 minutes on all of the valves. That is absolutely fine. We don't need to change that one. We're going to hit the menu enter. Cycle step two on this valve is a rest period. And this gives your well, especially if you have a lower producing or a lower GPM well, a few minutes to catch up. If you have a well on a variable speed pump or you have a well that's, you know, really big, you don't necessarily have to have any minutes on this. It's a rest cycle to give your well a little bit of a chance and to get the media bed to settle before the rapid rinse. So you could leave it at five or a lot of people it can just be set at zero so i've got it at zero which means now it's just going to skip over that cycle step it's not going to stop there at all and i'll show be showing you that in a minute uh, cycle step three is the rapid rinse in general you're going to start off your starter setting is going to be for six minutes that should be plenty in some cases you may have to add a couple of minutes to it depending on your own water uh, so now we've got it set at zero six Okay, and menu enter. Now, we've gone out of the, the three cycle steps and the fourth step being service. That's why I called it a four-step valve. Now we're into some Bluetooth uh, options, which are not really uh, really readily available for the endpoint user. They're still just being used uh, in the by the dealers that rent the units. Uh, but at any rate, that's what you're, you're going to get to that menu option, and you're going to press the menu enter button two more times, and it'll get you back to the service screen. So now we're, we've got it tight, we've got the number of days correct, we've got the time correct, and we've set the steps correct. In order to start an immediate regeneration, you're going to press and hold the set change button. After several seconds, the 4 will change to a 1, couple of seconds, then you're going to press it again. And now the valve is advancing to step 1. When it gets to step 1, it's going to stop and say 1 and 10. And then it'll count down 9, 8, 7, 6 as, as it goes. 
uh, it, when you're reading along with the startup instructions, especially on the Pro Aux, a lot of times you have to skip through cycles so uh, to go from the uh, backwash to the rapid rinse. So when you're in this cycle, if you just press and hold the button for a few seconds, now it starts going. See how it skipped over two? We didn't have any minutes on it. It goes right to three. It'll take it a little bit to get there. And then we'll press it one more time, and it'll show zero, which is the service or home. And now it's traveling back into the home position. The last thing I'm going to show you is if you, and you often, uh, will often do this accidentally when we're pressing both buttons, is you ended up pressing just the top button only for a long time. When you press the menu enter button for several seconds and hold it, it's going to give you a series of uh, diagnostic options. I'm going to show them to you. The main thing is, is your filter valve, it doesn't have a flow sensor, so none of these can really apply to your valve. It's, it's diagnostics for a softener, a valve that has a flow sensor on it. You can get a flow sensor option on the valve, and then these things will work. Uh, you've got the flow through the system. It'll flash back to the words F FLO for flow. Uh, the gallons total... Uh, also another gallons totalizer, uh, the number of regens, also the number of regens com completed. Uh, and then again, the last couple of them are, again, since it doesn't have a, uh, uh, a uh, flow meter on it, are kind of pointless here. The point is, if you accidentally get into them, just press the menu enter button several times, and it'll take you back to three the, the clock time and the number of days between regen. Also, if you touch no buttons while you're in the programming, after 60 seconds, it'll automatically go out of the programming. That's all, folks.